Falcon 9 is in startup. With startup, that means that both stages are beginning to pressurize for launch. LD is go for launch. And that was the launch director providing the final go for launch. All systems are go. Let's watch as Falcon 9 takes our 53 Starlink satellites into orbit. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And lift off. Go south to go south. Pitching down range. M1D chamber pressure is nominal. We are T plus 42 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4E, carrying our 53 Starlink satellites into space. Moments ago, we began to throttle down those nine engines on the first stage in preparation for a period known as Max Q. This is where the vehicle experienced the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. Max Q. And that was the confirmation of Max Q. Coming up in about a minute, we have a series of events happening back to back. First up is Miko, or main engine cutoff. This is where the two stages, excuse me, the nine engines on the bottom of the first stage will shut off in preparation for stage separation. This is where the two stages will separate from one another, with the second stage continuing with SES-1, uh, also Start known as- and back engine chill. Second engine start one, where that MVAC engine on the second stage will ignite and continue to carry our Starlink satellites to orbit. And then shortly after, SES-1 will have fairing deploy, where the two fairing halves on the top of the second stage will jettison themselves and make their way back to Earth. Um, the first stage after stage separation will also be making its way back to Earth to land on our drone ship. Again, uh, it's currently parked in off the coast of Baja, Mexico, waiting for this booster's fifth landing attempt. For now, we are enjoying some gorgeous views of the West Coast as things continue to look good for today's mission. Main engine cut off. Cage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Bearing separation. And again, continuing with the gorgeous views, we saw a ground shot of main engine cutoff. Now on screen on the left-hand side is a view of the first stage booster. Uh, it is making its way back to our drone ship. The right-hand side of your screen is a view of our second stage Merlin vacuum engine. Uh, the fairing halves have um, deployed, and so we have our Starlink satellites exposed to the vacuum of space. Uh, they have a couple more minutes to go before we actually shut down that second stage engine and um, insert our second stage and the satellites into a, an orbit. The fairing halves, again, are going to be making their way back along with the first stage for recovery. The first stage needs to execute two burns uh, in order to make its way back to our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. The first is an entry burn that's coming up around the six, the T plus six and a half minute mark. This is a three engine burn that slows down the first stage before 
uh, we hit the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And then around the T plus uh, eight minute mark, we'll have the landing burn. This will be the final burn before our landing attempt for the first stage. And this one is a single engine burn. T, T plus four and a half minutes into flight. Engine performance on the second stage is nominal. If you look closely on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see some puffs of gas. That is nitrogen from our attitude control systems. Um, that nitrogen will help to orient our first stage properly in order for it to land. And you also notice that we have two of our four grid fins uh, on camera right now. Those will swivel and... Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Those will swivel and help to guide and steer that first stage back to our targeted landing site. If you are just joining us, we successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4E, located uh, at our West Coast Vandenberg Space Force Base Launch Site. After liftoff, we had successful main engine cutoff, successful stage separation. Our second stage engine has been ignited. And now the next milestone for this mission is the entry burn coming up in about 30 seconds. Stage one entry bird startup. You can see on screen three of the nine first stage engines have relit. This burn is expected to last for about 20 seconds before we shut it off again. You can see the speed of the first stage at the bottom left hand side of the screen. We're starting entry to decrease that. So in about a minute, we'll have the landing burn. This is also expected to last for about 20 seconds. During the landing burn, this is where we'll be deploying our landing legs, and uh, we'll make our fifth attempt at landing this first stage booster. Shortly after the landing burn ends, we'll be listening for a call out of SECO. This stands for Second Engine Cutoff. Uh, we'll shut off the engine that you see on screen, and then we'll listen for another call out of Good Orbital Insertion. As a reminder, um, after we get successful uh, orbit confirmation, we will be ending the webcast, but we'll have audio up if you want to follow along, and we'll confirm deployment of our satellites via social media. Stage one, transonic. About 20 seconds away from the beginning of that landing burn, Second stage performance and trajectory continue to be nominal. Expected loss of signal, Vandenberg LSU. Stage one, stage two, terminal guidance. Stage one, landing burn. So the call outs, we heard that we have begun the landing burn. Hopefully we can get footage. Stage two, FTS is safe. Of the first stage landing on our drone ship. Stage one, landing leg deploy. And there's a view of our drone ship uh, positioned off the coast of Baja, Mexico, expecting that first stage booster to land here shortly. Stage one, landing confirmed. So we have audio and video confirmation now of the first stage. Uh, that is the fifth successful landing Second for this particular call. booster and the 112th successful recovery of a Falcon 9 first stage booster. 
We also heard confirmation of a successful second engine cutoff. Expected loss of signal, SNI. Nominal orbit insertion. And that was the final call out that we're waiting for, a successful orbital insertion. With the confirmation of both successful second engine cutoff and a good orbit, we'll be ending our webcast for today's launch. For those of you that are interested, we'll be confirming payload deploy via our social channels, so keep an eye out for that. Alternatively, if you'd like to follow along through, through payload deploy, we'll leave the mission audio live on our YouTube channel. Uh, thanks again to all of our viewers for joining today. If you are looking for more launch content, don't worry. We're currently targeting another Starlink launch tomorrow, May 14th at 4.40 p.m. Eastern time. So be sure to tune in uh, and we will see you next time.